hello 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 welcome back to my channel we are back for another debt confession update for 2023 this update will be as of july 21st i'm very excited to bring you this update last week i made some progress and this week I made even more progress, so I'm looking forward to sharing those details with you. If you are new here, I am a 39-year-old wife and mother, and I'm in, on a journey to pay off over $500,000 worth of debt. This debt is comprised of student loans and a mortgage, and so I am happy to share my journey. I hope it encourages you and motivates you. And let's get right into my update for this week. So last week, my student loan balances, I had $9,951 on the unsubsidized portion of my student loan and I had $21,272 on the subsidized portion of my loan. Now this is a consolidated student loan. It used to be a federal loan. It was sold to a private company. My current interest rate on this loan is 4.625%. I pay $341 every week. If I make any snowball payments, it goes to my student loan. I My goal is to knock out this unsubsidized portion by the end of the year and so any extra payments are going towards that last week my credit card balance was zero dollars my co-signed loan balance was twenty thousand three hundred and fifty dollars if you're new here i co-signed on a student loan for a family member and that person is not paying on that student loan that person has agreed to refinance it outside of my name however that has not occurred as of yet so this is what I am stuck with at this moment. And finally, my mortgage last week was $485,369. So my total debt balance as of last week was $536,942. So let's get into the numbers for this week. As of July 21st, my student loan balance for the unsubsidized portion of my loan is now $8,759. So as you can see, I made extra payments on this loan. Um, like I said, any extra payments that I get, I've been trying to snowball onto this, this portion of the loan. I definitely want to knock this out by the end of the year. So if we have extra money left in our budget, it's going towards this student loan. If I receive extra income, which guys, I just recently found out that I am getting a bonus from job number two. Um, I think I've said that in past videos, I sometimes do get bonuses and there are usually thousands of dollars and I am getting a bonus. So that money will go on this student loan. So you should see that update next week. Um, and yeah, this is, we're making progress here. So I'm happy to see that this is now down to $8,759. Next up is the subsidized portion of my student loans. That is still at $21,272. Now, I was surprised. I Like I said, I pay on a weekly basis. However, any um, those payments, usually the third payment of the month, they'll put on this portion of the loan. However, the lender did not do that this week. So I was a little bit surprised by that. Um, we'll see what happens next week. I'm assuming they'll put, put next week's payment on this portion of the loan. Um, there has been one time in the past where they didn't put any payment on this portion of the loan. They just put it all on the other portion. 
which was a little weird. I really didn't like that. <laughs> um, but we'll see what they do. It's not something that I can control when I log in. And you know how you can allocate payments. Because it is consolidated, they just put the money where they want to put it. I can't go and say, oh, put it on this portion of the loan or put it on that portion of the loan. Because even though they are listed separately, it's still treated as one loan. So we'll see if they put the payment on this portion of the loan or not. I don't know. My credit card for balance for this week was zero dollars still. I did um, go out of town recently and I like to use my credit card out of town. So I may or may not have a balance. I am gonna pay it off. We'll see if it posts or not. But um, as of 721, the balance was zero. Um, next up is the cosine loan. The principal balance on this is $20,334. So as you can see, the balance has gone down slightly. Definitely not as much as I would like it to go down. I would say just as on this, my student loan, about 90% of my payment is going towards my principal. It's quite the reverse for the cosign loan. I would say about 90% of the payment is going towards interest and about 10% is going towards the cosign loan. I do pay $150 twice per month on this student loan, um, but it really doesn't get me anywhere. The person that I co-signed for, I have not seen any action on the refinancing. I'm probably going to give that person one more week before I do a follow-up with that person. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and start refinancing myself on just a small portion, just so I'm not paying that 14.75% interest on such a large loan. Next up is my mortgage payment or my mortgage balance. I have not made a payment on my mortgage as of yet. My next payment is due in August. So that principal balance is still at $485,369. So next in my next update, we should see a change in that mortgage payment because I will be making a payment um, coming up here soon at the end of this week so that I'm on time for my August 1st mortgage payment. But we will see that updated next week. So let's add all of this up and see where we are at for this week. So we have eight thousand seven hundred and fifty nine dollars on the unsubsidized portion of my student loan we have twenty one thousand two hundred and seventy two dollars on the subsidized portion of my loan we have twenty thousand three hundred and thirty four dollars on the cosign loan and we have four hundred eighty five thousand three hundred and sixty nine dollars on my mortgage that gives us a grand total of $535,734. That is a change from last week. Last week's balance was $536,942. So that is a change of $1,208 since last week. I'm gonna give myself a round of applause. <laughs> that is awesome. I didn't know I paid that much, but I'm really excited about that. That is great. Um, I think last week I paid off $611. So I'm really trudging through this. Um, I know that I'm in a position right now um, that is favorable, that is blessed. Um, 
it has not always been like this so i don't want you to look at what's happening here and think that um it's unattainable i definitely was in a position in the past where i didn't have any extra money to put towards debt in fact i was increasing debt instead of being able to pay off debt and so just to see how god has shifted my life and shifted my finances is awesome and i just really 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 want to be in a position where i truly am free indeed free from this debt time freedom is very valuable for me time freedom is my ultimate desire i don't really care about money i care about freedom um and so i'm pushing along i'm trudging through i'm not going to give up and that's it for this week if you have any questions please drop them in the chat below in the comment box below um if the only tips i can offer is just don't give up pay what you can if there's any way you can earn extra income i would try to do so um as i've mentioned in the past i've done user testing i recently just i have an etsy shop and so i just listed something today and yesterday on my etsy shop i've only gotten one sale but i only have like five items in my shop <laughs> but I mean, just knowing that I could get one sale shows that it is possible. And all of that money is going towards paying off my debt. So anything you can do, God has blessed us all with gifts and with talents. And I feel like you should use them. Use what's in your hands to get out of whatever situation you're in. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have not done so already, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications so you'll know when I'm posting another video. Unfortunately, I did miss my budgeting video for this week. I've been traveling. Um, I will do one for this upcoming week. I just got my pay stub um, for this upcoming paycheck, so I will go ahead and do that budgeting video. And let you guys see how i'm budgeting my finances i will also be posting my end of the month um net worth sheet and that will be coming out probably early next week as well so you'll be able to see that and see where i stand in regards to my assets and liabilities so stay tuned for that once again, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching this video. If you know someone that would benefit from watching this video, please share it with them. I pray that you have a blessed week. Be encouraged. Trust in the Lord. Ask him to direct your paths. He will do it for you. And just stay blessed.